Years of using Fonica Pro, and I didn't use this useful tab that we're gonna go over. I think I thought it was childish and, and useless, but it is not. It will save you so much time and hassle while editing. So when you bring up your library browser by pressing Control Command in one, or just by clicking this little icon right here, you probably know what you're doing in this tab. You probably also know what you're doing in this tab, in the titles and generators. But you likely have clicked on this photos, video, and audio sidebar and been like, what, what is this really even useful? It is, and here's how. So with photos, when you click it, usually nothing shows up. You can actually hit this and hit all photos, but I'm not gonna do that because then you're gonna see all my photos and maybe some are risque. <laughs> Kidding. Of course they're not. What you're going to do is just bring up your Photos app. So I'm just using our Spotlight search here and just typing in Photos, clicking this, and we're going to label it. So just create one, we'll call it FCP. You're then going to take any logo or photo that you have that would be useful for you in your video projects. So for example, I have a bunch of different logos and stuff, YouTube logos. I even have a picture of Dylan Bates with Tim Apple, and yes, he's Tim Apple's best little boy. I realize his name's not Tim Apple, but I kind of like calling him that. And then all you would do is just select everything, which you could do by pressing Command A, and then just dragging that into your album. Let's say I don't want to import the duplicates. And when you quit out of Fonica Pro and then come back in, you'll notice we have this album here labeled FCP, which in it, has all of our different logos, all of our different overlays, different things that would be useful for us in our videos. You might be saying, Dylan, how can this video get any more useful? There's no way these other tabs can be that useful as this Photos tab. There may be even more useful, at least the Apple TV one. Your music tab is matched up with your, I almost wanted to call it iTunes. <laughs> I guess that shows how old I am. It, uh, your music app. So if you're wondering how can you possibly make this useful in your videos, you're of course not gonna be using a song from ASAP Ferg or ASAP Rocky, but likely you'll have music that you download from different sites like Artlist, and all you do once you download that song of your choosing is literally just click it and it will automatically be added to your music app with all the correct genre and stuff labelings and you open back up again and you just type in the title of the song, that song will automatically be in Fonica Pro. So anytime you want to use that again in another video, you have all the different songs that you downloaded from music licensing sites like Artlist. So that way when you're making your video, you can make it really quickly. You don't have to go out, grab a song, bring it back in. You could just create a huge archive to help you make your videos faster. I've been using Artlist since 2017 when they only had music, but now they have so much more, including the latest AI video generation models like VO3.1, Sora 2 Pro, and quite a few more. AI video certainly makes me nervous. I assume it's the same for you, but I do see it as a useful tool when there's no stock footage out there that has what you need for your video. So for example, if you're talking in a video about how people have endless chatter going on in their mind constantly, Artless tool can help you to create that. <laughs> Focus. It can also add audio and sound effects automatically, which blows my mind. So that's one or two less things that you have to do in the edit. Or maybe you want to show in your video how people nowadays feel suffocated by social media and notifications. Or even something like heartbreak, which is normally pretty difficult to show in a visually creative way. I will always value authentic, real footage. You're probably the same. But this tool helps fill in the gaps when you need B-roll of something that would otherwise be hard or impossible to film, especially for someone on a budget. And if the AI video thing isn't for you, Artlist has quite a bit more on their site. It's one of my favorite sites as far as music, sound effects, stock footage. So I'll put a link for two months for free for Artlist in the description and in the comments below. And thank you again to Artlist for sponsoring this video. This next one, the Apple TV one, is my most used tab. And you would think out of all of these, this is the least useful. But what you can do is just by opening your Apple TV app, did I do that wrong? There we go. <laughs> and so if you have different overlays, different pop-ups, different short clips that you like to use in all your videos, you could just go to recently added and drag that into the app. And we go to the Apple TV app. You'll see we have, I'm a dork okay. sitting right here where this, where this mic just smacks me in the head. 
but it's very useful. You can just add lots of different pop-ups and I use this quite frequently because there's a lot of different lighting effects, different overlays that I use and being able to easily access them in this little tab here makes my editing time so much smoother and quicker. And I know it can do the same for you. So if so far this is helping out, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And let's move on to the sound effects. Fonica Pro comes with some basic kind of trash sound effects. Let's say you wanted to add more. You might be saying, Dylan, there's no way that you can add sounds to this. It's like built into Final Cut. We can't just drag them into this area. Well, you can, but it's through kind of a complicated file structure. So the first thing you're gonna do, if you haven't already, is you're gonna create a master folder that will have all your sound effects. So every time you download a sound effect, it will go into here. And you probably already have this folder. If not, just go to File the New Folder, put it wherever you want, you put it in the Movies tab, and then anytime you get a new sound effect or a sound effects pack, like my Filmic Crisp sound effects collection, you drag it inside that main sound effects folder. And little pro tip here, if you just drag this here, you have kind of easy access to it, but this isn't gonna be enough to get it into Final Cut Pro. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take that folder that you made with all your sound effects, you're gonna control right click, and then hit make alias. This is essentially making a copy of this folder. So anything you add to this main folder will then be added to this like redirect folder. All you're gonna do is copy this. So we're gonna press Command C and then Command Delete. That's how you quick delete things on a Mac. And you're gonna go to this folder. You're gonna click on your hard drive. You're gonna go to Library, Audio, Apple Loops, Apple, Final Cut Pro Sound Effects, and then you are going to press Command V to paste that alias folder. So now, any time that you add a new sound effect, you still add it to this main folder. And then the next time you hop into Final Cut and you go to that sound effects browser, you hit this drop down menu, you'll see you have that custom folder with that sound effects collection or whatever, all the different sounds that you added. You might as well subscribe because I have so many more useful videos that'll save you time and headaches. Save you headaches? Save you time and let you not have headaches. <laughs> Words, hard. And give this video a watch because the tricks in it will help you out as well and have a great rest of your day.